Hey y'all, it's me, your girl G, and I am back with another one. Okay y'all, so today is paycheck two of July. Um, So July 14th is when you should be watching this video. And we are on the road. We are still pumping, we are still pushing and getting the job done. I'm so excited y'all that I have started this journey because baby, when I tell you, it keeps me intentional, it keeps me focused and it keeps me ready for my cash stuff and videos. Um, being intentional about my budget has always been a goal of mine so i'm just excited that i am still on this journey i'm still pushing still going forward so if you need to be encouraged if you're watching these videos and you're like oh i want to start i want to start start because i promise you once you start you will not stop period what is that <laughs> okay if you are new here hi my name is g g with the gems is what they call me because i be dropping them gems y'all so I urge you to subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're a new subbie, let me know where you're watching from. I love engaging with my subbies. We are friends, baby, that turns into family over here. So you know them people that be like, cousin, cousin, we cousins, okay? <laughs> so make sure that you like, you comment, you subscribe, and you let me know where you're watching from. Because I have cousins all over the world now, like literally all over. So that's it, that's all. <laughs> all right, we got the commercials out the way. Y'all, I am so excited to be stuffing my business income from last week, which y'all know I'm always like the previous week for business get stuff that week, which is amazing. Um, I have multiple streams of income, so it's different things that I'm stuffing for my business. Also, my business taxes come out first and then I stuff and put everything else into a place. So I am a zero-based budget. Her, I zero out my income every single week. I don't care if I have $300 that came in from business. It's getting zeroed out and being put in a place. This here is my paycheck breakdown. I have this. Well, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I have an unboxing of it. So if y'all haven't seen it, make sure you go and watch it because it's dope. You So you can see everything that's on the inside of this. But ain't it cute, y'all? Ain't it though? Okay, so my friend Budget Bays, she sent it to me and I am obsessed with it. I love, 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 love this planner. I am a planner girl. I am a pen and paper girl. Yes, I do have an iPad. I have different things on the iPad. I'm going to show y'all that in a second. But this here, I don't know. I'm old school. I'm one of those that just likes to write everything down. So this here keeps me intentional about my budget. Um, also... Also, I have, let's see if I can get to it while I'm on here with you guys. I got a planner from one of my good friends. Um, her name is Bad Girl Finance. Um, and she sent this over and I was like, oh my God, hold on. Because why is it saying this? Hold on, y'all. Okay, for some reason. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, y'all. This glare from this dang on ring light is killing it. But she has the Becoming the Brave Winner Challenge. This is Savings Challenges. This here is all Savings Challenges. It's amazing. I love it. It's so cute. And they have so many different things. She also has, okay, why? Okay, that was what to say. An area where you can write your goals out. Every page has a different affirmation. Um, she has different challenges. So, listen, I was a wig girl at one time. So, my wig girls feel me, okay? You have to save for them things. Those things are not things that just, boom, I can pay for it right now. You have to save for wigs. So, this here is, like, so amazing, y'all. I love it. The no spin challenge. So, I am doing the no spin challenge right now. Everything like she has a challenge for everything. It's so cute, and she has a digital version of all her um all her books. So if you don't want to, you know what? Bye, because this thing keeps working on my nerve. I ain't got time. But if you don't want the actual copy, because the actual copy she does sell on the hard copy she sells on Amazon. If you don't want that, then you can get the digital copy that can go on your iPad if you are a digital girl and get it. It's so cute. It's so, so, so cute. I love it. All right, y'all. So I will have her as always, anything that y'all see on my channel linked in the description. So if you see something and you like it, 
go ahead on and buy it. Period with a dot if it's in a budget. <laughs> Alright, so I just put my fingertip moisture from my friend Black and Blue on because I need that to count my money. Period. Like, what? Alright. I need a new money bag, too, y'all. Let me know if y'all, I still offer these. I love, love, love them. But I am looking to get another one. One that's more simplistic because if you have not noticed, I've changed up my whole setting. I have a new A7 wallet, y'all. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. These here are available on my Amazon shop. I mean, my Etsy shop, Lord have mercy. Um, this here I got from my friend Chris, budgeting just because. And your wallet needs cute stuff too. I mean, you fill yourself with jewelry. Why not fill your cute wallet? <laughs> All right, let's get the cash count in so I can get y'all out of here because I'm not keeping y'all forever today, okay? <laughs> 500. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40. 10. Okay, so let me explain this one lonely 10. I do everything off of aesthetic, right? So I do not want to stuff fives into my Christmas challenge. So I needed a 10 for my Christmas challenge. So I was like, give me that because y'all know I like my fives. But yeah, that's how I got that one lonely 10. Hold on, y'all. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Y'all, so this is the month of wands because y'all know I do not stuff wands, right? So. We have $1,049 that we are stuffing on today. Y'all know that I don't stuff my ones. I um I put all my ones here in my $1 box. But because I'm doing this savings challenge and I need ones, I have to stuff my ones. Period. That's it. That's all. <laughs> all right. So we are going to start off with paying our bills so we can get that out of the way and don't have to worry about that. Mortgage gets $250 every week. I'm able to stuff my bills for August because if you are new here, I am one month ahead in my bills. So I stuff one fourth every check. So one, I get paid every week. So one fourth a week of my mortgage goes into this envelope. So when next month comes, I ain't got to worry about that. I can just save for something else. Becoming, oh, that's not it. Uh-uh, that's not even for that. Becoming one month ahead in my bills has been a game changer when it comes down to budgeting and saving because it's just so much easier this way. Honestly, y'all, it's so much easier. So if you are not one month ahead, I have a video. You can go and watch it, and it will help you to better map out what I mean by being one month ahead and how I got one month ahead and everything, all that. <laughs> All right, for mortgage, we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500. Clico, I don't even have my tablet. Okay. Clico is getting 20. Clico is my light company. Clico now has 40. Utilities, utilities is our water, and utilities is getting 20. Utilities now have, because oh, okay, that's for animals, right? 20, 40. I was about to say why utilities have 60 already, but no, that's for another binder. So Atmos is our gas company, and I was actually <laughs> over budgeting for Atmos. So... That's how I got 20 already, so I did not stuff at most this month. I mean, this week. Internet. Internet is getting $8. 
Internet now has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And our internet service is with AT&T. That's our phone service. That's all our services. Whatever. They are okay. They're good. <laughs> ADT is eight as well. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Y'all, I did it again. I did the same thing last week, and I just did it again. I forgot to unstuff my wallet. And Pess, Pess is getting 20. Pess shouldn't be getting nothing because this Pest company is just, I don't know. I don't know if they're spraying salt water. I don't know what they're spraying, but all these damn rodents is not going well. <laughs> and for insurance, now for insurance, it's a little different. Um, we pay our insurance annually, so we stuff until it's time to pay our car insurance. And this is car insurance. Life insurance don't get pulled out, but car insurance, that's what that's for. 20, 40, 60. And I think we pay this in October, I believe. So stuff in for that. So now in insurance, and insurance is probably the only binder that I do not swap out because I mean, only envelope that I don't swap out because I want I don't want to put it in the account if it's not coming out right now, if that makes sense. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,010. So already we have 1,010. It's July, and we don't owe this until October, and it's 1,500. So that's good, right? right <laughs> all right y'all so bills are paid on to the next task <laughs> um i have to unstuff this that's what i need to do because i just skipped clean over this i told y'all these are available in my etsy shop comes with the custom envelopes i do only use the zipper envelopes with my a7 um i have not graduated to the Dellum and mm -mm, I don't do that. Zipper. <laughs> Groceries has nothing. Never does. Gas. Gas has twenty dollars left over because I did not spend all my gas this week. Um, I made some life changing decisions this week, and so I will not be spending my gas. Wait for that video because it is coming on Monday, and I'll explain to you guys why and how and what happened and what I got going on and all the good lessons that's going on in life. All right, so this right here is going into rollover. And coins, I got a little coins this week. I really think I'm gonna cash in my coins around Christmas time instead of waiting until the new year just to see what I have saved. So this here is my coin jaw. It actually comes on, y'all, and I'm supposed to count the coins, but I told y'all when we were moving, my husband just put a bunch of coins in here and it messed my count up. So yeah, we're not counting right now. <laughs> but this here is available on my Amazon storefront. This coin jaw and my $1 box as well and so many other things that you see on here, like my cash tray. A lot of people ask me where I get it from. It's on my Amazon storefront. It is linked in the description box, so you can go and get one of those. All right, y'all. So, if you're new here, I'm explaining this to you because I am not explaining this to my friends that already know about this because they already own it, right? Right. <laughs> All right, so this here is my receipts. I scanned my receipts into the Fetch Rewards app. Fetch is an app that gets takes your receipts, you take pictures of your receipts, you upload them, and they give you points. Those points turn into cash gift cards, literally gift cards for everything. Amazon, Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx, Walgreens, any store that is a store that accepts money, <laughs> they will give you a gift card for it. Nike, Aeropostale, American Eagle, I've seen everything on this app. Food, flights, hotels, Airbnbs whatever you get me you get me so use this code right here um i'll also have it linked in the description box 
Use that code download fetch because all you're doing is scanning your receipts. Your receipts is giving you money. Simple. Who don't want money from using money? That's 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 as best as I can explain fetch. <laughs> that's as best as I can explain it. So I'm gonna sit this here because I'm gonna use that for one of our saving challenges. And we're gonna move on into our no, I'm not, I know what I'm gonna use that for. I just thought about it. We're gonna move on to our savings binder this binder here i have this available as well on my etsy shop you can get it and it comes with envelopes you can choose between the zipper list or the zipper envelopes for this one but it's just zipper list that's it like it's not the vellum and all the other stuff <laughs> all right so first up is raji Raji is getting $40. So, y'all, today I uploaded. Um, Kanye was getting ready for camp, and Raji is a junior staff member over at the camp. And so, of course, Raji was up getting ready as well. And so I made a little quick um, reel because I was going to record Kanye, and Raji came in and was like, it's time for push-ups. And Kanye was like, what? <laughs> but, like, I'm just going to give y'all, I told y'all now, since y'all been asking, I'm definitely giving y'all more content with my family. Y'all love my family. Y'all love my blended family. So get ready for it. Get ready for it. <laughs> so Raji now has 1,002, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. So 2,160 in Raji's savings. And Kanye, y'all favorite nephew who just cuts up so bad. <laughs> He's getting 40 as well. Kanye now has 1,000, 2,000 in the bank. Remember, for my new people who's like, what is that? This is prop money. So this here solidifies what we have in the bank already for this fund. This is not fake money. I'm not trying to use this at no store, not like that. This is just solidifying what we have in the bank. I do not keep nothing over 500 in our envelopes for the security of my home. And just why? Like, why would I just keep it there? And it could be building... Um, entrance in the bank, right? So anytime my envelopes make it to 500, that goes into our Ohio savings account and prop money goes into place of it. So we have 2,000, one, I mean, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Did I say that right? 2,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, okay. 2,160 for Kanye. Okay, this is a new envelope, y'all. Now, nah, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. I have a blended family, and I have some beautiful, amazing, brilliant bonus kids. And so they was like, I want an envelope, too. So they got an envelope. <laughs> and I am stuffing in there, starting off, just starting off, because this was literally made up last night. And so I got to get it together and build it up, because they got a problem with me. And I don't like problems. <laughs> All right, so... That's their envelope in emergency. In our emergency fund, emergency is getting a hundred dollars. So emergency fund uh, is kind of tricky because a lot of people like wonder what you use emergency funds for. For my emergency fund, we use it for like we live in Louisiana where they have hurricanes, and I remember one year they had a hurricane and we had to pull from our savings account, and that was like bummy. Like what? Why? Why are we moving this money? And so we didn't have it set up. We didn't have it in place where we needed it, so we had to pull from our savings. So when I started budgeting and I started planning out, and I saw like an emergency fund is vital because things happen, and you don't want to pull from your savings because your savings is just that. Your savings, right? So it was time to get an emergency fund. So that's what this envelope is for. Those things that happen. I actually was just saying that I need to get another window because my windshield broke. Uh, not really broke. You know how them trucks, they give you like those lines on the windshield, like they crack your window. Well, of course, my on window is cracked. And I was like, should I pull from my emergency from that? And then I called and got a quote and she was like, $500. I was like, girl, bye. Like, I can see. <laughs> so an emergency has $1,002, $3,000 in the bank, one to $300. Like, what? I'm not about to mm -mm. get somebody else to do it. <laughs> All right. And my 10K challenge for the 10K challenge 
I chose 225 this week. So a lot of people ask me all the time um, what 10K challenge I use. I just got one off of Pinterest at the moment. I have so many more that I've seen that I want to use. But right now I'm just using this one so I can finish it out and then I'll start more, right? And thank y'all so much in the comments because your girl did put another 5,000 up in here. And I'm like, I'm manifesting it. I must be speaking in advance because, yep. But nope, I fixed it. So it's 5,500. <laughs> one, two, 25. All right. So now in the 10K challenge, we have 5,500. That's in the bank. 56, 57. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. Why well, I feel like I just didn't learn how to count. Okay, we got 5,500 in the bank. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. Okay, I'm right. So 57, 75. Right? Right. <laughs> Poor thing. Just don't know. Just what? What? <laughs> All right, and this is another envelope. Um, I'm not going to add to this right now because, like I said, I got to come back and add more to my kids' envelope. So this is a college fund. This here is just going to help with those college expenses. We have one that's going to college this year. Well, he graduates this year, and so he'll be going to college. And this is just to help with those college expenses because they made me know this. Like, okay, so, you know, we're going to need y'all to do Whatever, whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I ain't pulling from my savings account. So that's just going to be for those college necessities. Dorm room, things like that. Because we are claiming scholarships. So we're not worrying about that part. We just worrying about those things that we need to do to get them where they need to be. Period. <laughs> and don't forget, we vlogging all that too. Told y'all that last video. Okay. So for our easy budgets challenge, I will be scratching off. Well, I might as well just scratch right under here, right? Mm -mm -mm. Well, I didn't budget for this. <laughs> so, I owe myself because I only budgeted for, what did I budget for? $20 for this challenge. So, which means, ain't doing it. I'm going to budget out what I budgeted for, and then I'll put a sticky note for what I owe myself now, because I owe myself $15 in here. Hold on. Y'all know how I do. Don't come on here acting like y'all brand new. New people, get used to it. I owe $15 to the Easy Budget Challenge. So, because I'm doing so many challenges, I got to get on board of... <laughs> Like, I got to get used to this. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all hear all that noise in the background. That's my husband. He did not want to get out for me to record. So now he just make all kind of noise because he won't be heard. He won't say hey to the people. Say hey to the people. <laughs> he won't be heard. He's just up in here just making all kind of noise and sounds and stuff. It's horrible. Okay, let's go. Let's finish. Let's finish. All right, next I'm going to do my Christmas challenge. So, if y'all don't know, there is a giveaway um, going on first. Let me say this. So, me and my friend budgeting just because we are doing this giveaway for this challenge here. So, what it will be is it will be a brand new Christmas in July. Now, I know it says Christmas in July, but it's a Christmas savings challenge. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at It's so cute, right? Right. So it's a brand new Christmas savings challenge that um, uh, Chris made. And we said we're going to do a collaboration and do a giveaway for it. So, y'all, if y'all didn't watch that video, go watch it. Because the giveaway winner will be announced right here on YouTube and on Instagram today. To today, okay? All right, so today is the 14th for my challenge, and I will be stuffing $14. All right. I love this challenge, y'all, because oh, it's so cute. 
And it's time to start saving for Christmas. That's why I really love it. If you have not started saving for Christmas, baby, you should be saving for Christmas because Christmas is here. We are in July, which means we are not even half way through. We almost there. <laughs> All right, let me finish up. Okay, so we have our sinking funds binder. This one here is available as well on my Etsy shop. And so we are starting off with holidays. Holidays, I bulked up a little bit because it's starting to get close. And y'all know holidays is for fall, Halloween. I should have just named it that, but I didn't, but it's fine. <laughs> so holidays is getting 10. 1, 20, 25, 30, and 35 is now in holidays. So 135 for holidays. I do have a fall challenge that I will be starting on next month. So because I need to bulk this up. Like, it needs to get bulked all the way up. <laughs> and my anniversary is getting its normal $10. So anniversary, wait, what is going on? Because why I have this? I don't know what this is for. I really don't. I'm going to honestly tell y'all. I hope I didn't mess nothing up. Because I don't know what that's for. Anniversary has 1, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So 260 in anniversary. For Christmas, Christmas is getting its normal 20 still, even though we're doing all these challenges, Christmas is still getting what it got to get because it's Christmas, so why not? <laughs> Christmas now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 20, 40. So 540 now in Christmas. And I said I wasn't going to pull this, but yes, when I do my bill condensing, I'm going to pull Christmas because Christmas should be earning interest as well. We need that. What are we saying? Vacation is getting 20 as well. So vacation now has 1, 2, 3, 20, 40. So 3, 40 for vacation. Y'all know the vacation is right after Christmas. I can't wait. We going to the Bahamas. What? Yes. <laughs> Spalmy. Spalmy is getting 20. Spalmy now has 20, 40, 60, 80. Spalmy is just like a whatever I want envelope beauty beauty is getting 20 beauty beauty is I just got pulled from because I have a nail appointment so I just took it out because I go to the nail shop look at my nails look at my nails I know y'all over there talking about me why is G on here with these nails like this y'all I know y'all is it's fine it's fine <laughs> car maintenance now has 25 35 40 so car maintenance now has 40. And household, household is getting 10. So household now has 20. Girl, I don't know what I did. I did something wrong. I don't know. I'm about to find out. And school, so we have completely depreciated this school fund. It's gone. Everything, everybody's ready for school. Um, so it's time to start stuffing for next school year. So it'll be five dollars. Um, and that's it for my sinking funds. All right, and so we're gonna move on to my cash wallet. I'm still looking at this money because I'm like, why do I have money in here? Did I? I don't know what I did. I don't know. I. You know what I did? Girl, I am good. You hear me? Wait, I'm going to tell you what I did after I finish. I know what I did. Okay, groceries. Groceries is getting nothing because we are good. No, actually, we're not good. We're going to the store, but my husband going. <laughs> gas. Gas is getting 60. And so gas really does not need 60. So, hmm. I owe myself. That's what I'm thinking about, y'all. I owe myself right now. And, okay, I don't have nothing. Oh, no, you're right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm going to the city twice this weekend. So, I'm still giving gas 60. Um. So, that, that's what that's for. I was about to say, why did I budget for 60? But, nope. I was right. 
And the city is like 35 minutes away from my house. So it's like 30 miles. <laughs> my spending is still getting nothing because we are still on the no spend challenge. I have to bring that back to the bank. Still haven't did it. Coins. And receipts. And that's it. That's it, y'all. That is it for the stuffing. Now, this is what I want to tell y'all. So, what I did was I budgeted twice for today, right? But God work in mysterious ways, girlfriend. Because remember, y'all remember what I'm about to say. I needed $15 for my challenge. So, now I only owe myself $1. <laughs> see? See that there? You see how things happen? So I really owe myself a dollar. All right, so in easy budgets, I now have 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, really 50, but I gotta go get a dollar and put in here. So I'm going to do that when I get off camera. And that's how I budget, y'all. That's how I budget. Simple, easy, fun, like that. <laughs> If you're still here, make sure that you leave me some pink hearts in those comments down below. Let me know you made it to the end of this video. I am finished. I hope y'all have an amazing week. I hope you got your budget together. And I hope you do something that makes you happy this weekend, okay? Remember, we're building generational wealth and breaking generational curses. Until next time, bye, y'all.